Hello, welcome to Art Night Pasadena. In honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we're gonna be making maracas. Maracas are a rattle-like percussion instrument and they're used in um, Caribbean, Latin, and indigenous American music. Traditionally, they're made out of gourds. And here's an example of a beautiful pair of maracas from the Dominican Republic. They're often made out of wood as well and with all kinds of beautiful designs and paint. But today, we're gonna to be making ours out of plastic. Like a ready -made. We've gathered a lot of bottles and these are things that you can, items that you can find at home or nearby. And it's a way to recycle and reuse um, a lot of the things that we would normally maybe throw away. We don't wanna do that. So, let's get started. All right, so here's some supplies that we have. I'm going to start out um, by using this bottle because I like the shape and so pick the bottle and then we're going to um, use glue that's one part glue and two parts water so you can go ahead and mix that it's just regular Elmer's glue and I'm using a little spongy brush but whatever kind of brush or sponge you have you can even use a popsicle stick to apply the glue on the bottle. So those are a couple supplies. And then as far as what you can put on the bottle, we've used here um, tissue paper, which is really great because it's thin and you know it goes around the curves really well, like you see on the bottoms and, and such. So the tissue paper works good. You can also use junk mail, um, leftover birthday napkins, uh, wrapping paper, and what we've done here is also a nice thin paper is newsprint. So any newspaper, and then go ahead and, you know, color on it. Just any kind of marks you wanna make with colors, um, patterns, you know, they look great. But you can go ahead and say you've colored your newsprint. Just go ahead and rip some um, strips of paper like this. So I've, I've gone ahead and, here, yeah, I'll show you the colored pretty part. And it's really easy because it's nice and thin. Okay, and then we end up at the very end filling with rice. Rice makes a really nice sound. If you don't have rice, you could use like oatmeal or popcorn or any kind of um, small dry food that you have in your pantry. <laughs> So um, let's get started. So what I'm gonna do is take my glue mixture and I'm gonna go ahead and start on the bottom. And some of these bottles are oddly shaped. So you wanna use kind of a thin material on the bottom so that you can just kind of press it in. And I'm gonna take this turquoise paper as you can see, you could just kind of rip and tear, and it's, it's kind of messy, but it's fun. Um, and just kind of cover that, and we can go back to it too. But this is the beginning. Okay, and then we can go ahead and put some of our glue, just kind of brush it on. Okay, so we've got that. Take some of the junk mail, and this is pretty green colors. Just kind of wrap it around, just like that. Okay, and then we can take a layer of down of the tissue. Let's see how that wraps around really easily. And then I'm going to keep adding these beautiful strips that we colored. So keep applying your papers, and this could go pretty quickly. All right, so 
we're almost finished. I'm going to add the final strip to my bottle here. Maraca. Okay. So we've finished our bottle for now. What we're going to do is just set it aside and let it dry. And I'm going to show you some things that you can also do to it once it's dry. Okay. So here's what we did. Now, once it's dry, you know, turn it um, right side up and you'll have the cap removed already. And then you wanna go ahead and add your rice or whatever you've decided to put inside of your bottle. You can put all kinds of things in there. You could even put a secret message in your bottle. Message in the box. So, We've put some rice in here before. This is a very full measuring cup. You can use a measuring cup or a funnel or any way you choose to add your rice. Okay, so then you just close the cap and then you've got your maraca sounds. Now afterwards, these were dry you can go ahead and take your felt tip marker and you could write things on them. You could write words, designs. You can continue to decorate if you'd like. And even if you have things like this one, um, I've added some plastic jewels, which are very pretty and sparkly. And we've done extra special things on the bottom. My coworker who made this lovely one put a sun and this one has a flower. So, you know, there's all kinds of things that you can do to make your bottles beautiful. Okay. Thank you for joining us. Good night.